<sighs> Here we go. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Hi. Hi. I place it. Thank you. I was surprised to learn you're here waiting for me. Is everything okay? Sure. I hope you don't mind having me here. No, not at all. I'm fine with that. Does my dad know you're here? Um, he... Here we go. My dad, this is mixed fruit juice. Made right here in the Palace of Brass Kingdom. It's original and very heady. So keep yourself busy with this. Thank you. You're welcome. My prince. Um, King doesn't know about me being here. But it's fine. <laughs> Fiona, okay. how have you been? Very well, thank you. I didn't get to collect your number the other time you came around. My prince, please. Can I have a moment with you? Alone. I hope you don't mind. It's okay, I'll, I'll just get going. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Is that not Viola's car out there? It's her car. Where is she? She's with the prince. With the prince? Yes, my king. So, how does it feel to be a stockbroker? Exciting. But it comes with its own challenges. Obviously. Every job does. <laughs> but I can see you enjoy being a stockbroker. Why? Does anything about me say so? Look at you. I can feel the vibes that you're fulfilled. <laughs> my prince, fulfillment can come from other things other than my job. I know about that, but I still... Dad is back. Your Majesty. Welcome, Dad. Yeah, how are you? Viola is here. How are you, Viola? Very well, thank you, Your Majesty. Um, the prince is making my day awesome. Am I? Yes, you are. And I never really knew. Of course, my prince. Uh, well, you were very good company. Uh, th that's good to know. Um, I'll just go in and freshen up, then I'll see you later. Take your time, Your Majesty. All right, Dad. <laughs> um. Sit. Thank you. What is she up to? Coming here without informing me? And was she flirting with my son? Or was that just an imagination? Are you sure about this? I mean, you should tell him you're leaving. My prince, not to worry. I came to see you and not the king. He will certainly not have a problem with that. Well then, it was nice having you around. The pleasure is all mine. And I look forward to hanging out with you again. I didn't know you this sneaky. What? She came here to see you and you didn't tell me that you have been speaking with her. Why? I haven't been speaking with her. 
I was even surprised she came to see me. Whatever, man. Believe what you like. Okay, so tell me, uh, what was the private discussion all about? What was the private discussion all about? And you only left without seeing me. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I figured you must be very tired, hence I didn't want to bother you. Viola, that excuse is not tenable and you know it. But I wasn't there to see you anyway. Obviously. Did my son hire you as a stockbroker? Not yet, but that can happen. I'm trying to get familiar with him. Get familiar with him for what? Why don't we discuss this one on one? Very well then. You did what? Hey, 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 calm down. Why scream on top of your lungs? Come on, Viola, don't be silly. What would he think? And why should that bother me? You were dating the king and you went to the palace to see his son without informing him. And you spent some private time with him. Hello? Is that a problem? Did you bother yourself about how he would feel? Why disrespect him in that manner? <laughs> I did not disrespect him. In any way. I see. So, what did you do then? With time, you will get to know. And this must be Christine. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> well, um, I want to apologize for not returning your call the other day. It actually skipped my mind. Well, it's okay. I understand. I'm not that important to you. Uh. People keep in touch with those who matter to them. Oh, please don't say that. Who could be more important than the only prince of Brass Kingdom? Okay, go ahead and blow my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, are we not being rude by neglecting? Oh, please forgive my manners. Come, 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 come over here. Um, this is Linda, my friend Linda. Meet the only prince, Prince Jerry. <laughs> of course, who does not know Prince Jerry? You see? Really? <laughs> Now I'm some sort of celebrity. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, I have just decided to make up for not calling you back. Would you like to have a drink with me sometime? Please, uh, don't say no. Okay, I'd like to have a drink with you. Oh, great! <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright then, um, you give me a call whenever you're ready. I will. All right. Good to see you. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. I am happy to inform you that the business has been approved. Ooh. Your Majesty, if you're happy, I would set up a meeting with you and them. Three billion naira is up for grabs. Who doesn't know that? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know it would be this fast and easy. That's because I rule. You know you've got the best with you. And you should know that this man here appreciates the best in you. <laughs> well, I'll be happy if I can have you for the rest of my life. What are you up to, Viola? I asked you to marry me and you haven't responded. Don't you want us to legalize this, our relationship? I thought we shared the same feelings. Your Majesty, you are not the man I want. I am not? <laughs> Your Majesty, 
You've been a pillar to me. And I love and appreciate you for that. But you see, you are not the man I would love to spend the rest of my life with. Viola, are you telling me you have someone else? You asked me why I went to see him. And I was being honest when I told you that I'm trying to get familiar with him. Your Majesty, I'm in love with your son. Hear that? I did not! Why do you sound as if you've just heard the strangest news? Well, this is strange to me. I mean, I'm amazed you have even spoken to him. Left in Lumbodri asking him out for a drink. What's so special about this prince anyway? He's just like every other man. At least. It's better than that loser you're messing around with. Come on, Linda. Victor is not a loser. You just need to get close to him and you'll find out how nice and caring he is. What I need to do is what I'm about doing now. And what is that? Telling you an honest truth. Listen, if by any chance the prince is interested in more than just having a drink, jump at it, girlfriend. Yes, I'm serious. Jump at the offer. I have done the need for. So can we go now? <laughs> one crazy girlfriend. But that's the truth. I'm serious. You cannot marry my son. There is no way that is going to happen. Why? Because you are in love with me that you cannot let me go. I love you, no doubt. That's. The only reason I want to marry you. No. I don't think so. What do you mean? You want to marry me and keep me closer. And make sure that I do not betray you. What do you mean betray me? I know that you're very uncomfortable with this deal that you just signed. But I've only gone into it because the business promises a lot of money. Your Majesty. Look into my eyes and tell me that this, your sudden marriage proposal, has nothing to do with this. Why would I want to marry you for such a reason? I trust you, and I know that you will not hurt me. But this one you're going into is a real betrayer. A man and a son cannot have the same woman. It is a taboo. Oh, your majesty. I have thought of it already. And guess what? I've got an answer. Whatever we have going on is between both of us. Even the least of your staff does not know about this. That still does not erase the fact that you are my lover. Countless number of times I have tasted the woman in you. Enough already! Get your son to marry me and everything else will fall in place. You may not like what I will turn into if you fail to do that. Are you threatening me? Your Majesty, I have been good to you all those years. This should be a way of paying me back. And I expect you to do that gladly. Majesty, I am not asking you for money. Just a chance to be with your son. I love your son so much, but it will not change anything between us. Your son shall be legally married to me. And you and I, nothing will change. There will still be us. Always, Your Majesty. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. Whatever you know. Man, that lady is something else. It was a delight hanging out with her, you know. She's beautiful and the ambience around her is... What like... is it with you, bro? 
What is wrong with you? What do you mean? Which Christine are you talking about? Is it the same Christine that I know? The event planner, yes. Listen, man. You cannot be seen around that girl, okay? And how did this one start? How did you both get to meet? What are you talking about? Listen, bro. This is not the kind of woman people want to see around you. Martins, it was you who told me I would be going for school runs as an old man if I didn't get married on time. And now that I've found a woman, you, you were coming up with this talk? Oh, you're better than this. I'm telling you, you can do better than this. Not Christine, she's not your type. She's not your level. You don't get. Bro, I'm tired, okay? I need to take a nap. Like I said, she's not your kind of woman. Forget about that girl, move on. Okay? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, of course. I'm great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Daddy, you haven't said anything about getting a wife. I hope I didn't discourage you. Okay. Um, I'm not discouraging you in any way. Daddy, I know you need a wife. All I want is your first son who is the heir apparent to the throne should get a wife first. I remember you said something like the, the, the cabinet raised that issue. I'm just trying to be careful. Daddy, are you listening to me? Uh, um, of course, uh, I heard you. Um, you're right. The prince needs a wife. Yes, Dad. Excuse me. Beautiful princess of Nebraska. <laughs> you look perpetually amazing. I hope you know. You know the cook has been experimenting on moringa and jello fries. She just came up with something spectacular. We don't want to have a test. Okay. You and your cook should experiment on beans and gaddy eggs. You should eat it, not me. But we are talking of something that is the shade of my brain. And it is aimed at keeping you in shape as you wait for the good man. Are you sincerely saying you don't want to have a test of it? Viola, why are you doing this to me? If you truly love me, you will have no problem giving me what I want. Why does it have to be him? Listen, Viola, I love you enough to allow you to go be with another man. I, I can give up this relationship for you to be happy. Your I Majesty, can... this is my happiness. This is what I want you to do for me. I could get this done on my own, but I need you to be involved. I know you can compel him to be with me. Listen, Viola, we can go about this another way. There are many ways to kill a rat. There is no other way, Your Majesty. This is what I want. And you have to be involved. Uh, uh, Viola. Uh, Viola. Viola.
gas. I'm sorry, but the voice is not a familiar one. Oh, come on. Don't you break the baby's heart. Apologies. The last thing I want to do is to break any lady's heart, let alone one with such lovely voice. Aww. You are so nice and gentle. So, would you be gentle enough to do lunch with me? Hmm. Not only is this lovely voice calling me on phone, she's also asking me out for lunch. That's because you are special. Thank you. So, who am I speaking with? Why not find out at lunch? I'll give you the name of the entry. We'll meet up there. I'm sorry I cannot make lunch today. I have a lot on my table. Moreover, in this era of kidnapping, don't you think one should be very careful? Um, true. Yeah, I understand. Very, very true. Um, okay, maybe some other time. Whenever you feel. Fine by me, some other time. Um, please save the money. I plan to, but I don't know what to save it as. Well, save it with whatever name you think befits the lovely voice. Okay then, thank you and uh, have a great lunch. Thank you. I don't understand how this works. What is it? A total stranger calls me on phone and invites me for lunch. Who called you? I just told you a stranger who don't even let me know what her name is. Well, this shouldn't be a big surprise to you. You are a prince and charming one at that. You're very handsome, you got class and style. So definitely all the women will be running after you. You are the same man that I know that can give seven cars to seven ladies in a day and your account won't blink. Oh, give me a break. Yeah. Alright, why don't you download True Color and find out who the color is? No, I've got no time for that. Are you coming for lunch? Uh, no, I have other plans. What other plans could you possibly have without me? We normally go out for lunch together. Are you coming with me or you want me to lock you up in this office? Confident and fearless. Well, if the king is okay with her attitude, then why should I be bothered? Martin's told me how tedious your job is, especially for a lady. Hmm. Involves a lot of traveling, going up and down, interstate, and all of that. And I wonder how amazing it is that you managed to put all this together and still enjoy your job. But I'm very comfortable with my job. I love it. Well, that's good. I also heard you have planned major events for big firms. 
How did you manage to penetrate these conglomerates and have them trust you with planning their events? Mm -hmm. First, I know my job. And one good job deserves another job. I've been very busy, I must say, but I am still very happy with what I'm doing. It's obvious, very obvious. Is that all you can say to me? You asked me for his number and I gave it to you. It is up to you to know what to do with it. Did you even listen to me? I said I met him with another woman at the eatery. And you got upset? Come on, my darling. Don't fool yourself. Did anyone tell you the prince didn't have any woman in his life? I don't care. I want him. I want to be the only woman in his life. And you have to make that happen. I cannot force him on you. And I cannot equally tell him to stop seeing any woman he's already seen. Oh, yes, you can, my king. And you will. And how am I supposed to do that? I do not know. You have to figure that yourself. My king, you have children who love and respect you. Hence, they are willing to do whatever you tell them to do. Listen, Viola. Why are you not doing anything about this? Listen, Viola. Fix this before I get angry and ruin your life. You and I know that it's just a phone call away and you stand a chance of not only going to jail, but losing your relevance in the business world. I am very certain that some educated kingmakers of the Brass Kingdom will be willing to take your throne from your family. So you see why you have to fix it? Fix it, your majesty, or I will make the phone call if you continue playing with my emotions. And you're going to give me away? Forgetting that you're the same one who introduced me to that same fraudulent business. <laughs> I am sorry, my king, but it is what it is. Your son has consumed all of me and I have fallen deeply in love with him. I equally want to be his wife. So you see, your majesty, you have to fix this. And quick too. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. Whatever you know is better than the angel you don't know. This is unbelievable. You flicked on lunch with me because of Christine? And I had a good time with her. Yes, you had a good time with her. Does that make her good for you? What do you have against her? I mean, what's all this? The question is what do you want from her? A fling? Or a serious relationship? Which do you want? At my age, you think I'm interested in flings? Exactly. That is what we're talking about. At your age, what you need is a serious relationship. Someone you settle down with. And what makes you think I cannot settle down with Christine? My feelings for her are true. Yes, your feelings for her are true. What about her own feelings for you? Are they true? Are they true? I don't understand you, dude. You make no sense. Honestly. Honestly. I think I have to tell you this. You came my leave recommended, and I was meant to understand you are the best in town. Really? Not just only one or two or three persons told me that. Some top companies testified that you are the one that normally handles their events. And I'm about giving the same services to your company. What is the event? The Zonal Manager Seminar. Oh, great. I'm so sorry, but I am amazed. You look too young. How did you manage to get to this level? <laughs> well, since you want to make the first part of this meeting about me. I apologize. No, it's okay. I actually like talking about this. Any woman that has failed to carve a niche for herself cannot blame it on anyone but herself. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How is that? You know, this is a world where women folks rule. Any woman can attain to any level she wants to. 
only if she wants and is ready to pay the price. And the price is what nature has blessed us with. We don't need to search for it or pay any money for it. Like using what you have to get what you want, right? Is that what you're saying? Call it anything you like. And so? And so? Don't you get it? You have just told me about your first encounter with her. And from my first encounter with her, I formed my own opinion about her. Let me tell you. Christine is the kind of woman that uses what she has to get what she wants. And that's not the kind of woman a prince of brass kingdom will love to take in as a wife. Like you just said, you formed your opinion of her. Your opinion is personal to you, it's not reality. It doesn't hold water in the universe. I will see if it can work between Christine and I. And I want you to back off. Vera, you can go home. But you're still here, Your Majesty. I just said you can go home. Yes, Your Majesty. Have a good day. My name is Leonardo de Bras, CEO Richie Consult PLC. Okay, how may we be of help? Yes, last week I signed a deal with your enterprise on securing two oil blocks. Okay. Um, look, I have some problems with my stock, which I planned investing in the business. Um, so I am hoping that I would ask you to put the business on hold or better still cancel the deal um, until I am ready with my stock. I am sorry sir, but that is against the policy of the enterprise. I believe you had an agent that introduced you to this business. Hold on please. From the information I have here with me, your agent's name Hello, Viola is my stockbroker, not my agent. I have no idea that she's an agent or whatever. I am sorry, sir, but if you still wish to put the deal on hold or cancel it, then you have to come down to the office with your agent. Is that okay, sir? Listen, this business belongs to me. I am the one investing, not Viola. I don't see how she's involved in this. Congratulations on your engagement, girl. You were so lucky to have Dave. He is lucky to have me. He is a good man. A good man that is still struggling. Money isn't everything. But money makes everything great. You don't seem happy about this engagement. I am happy. But I need to push him to the next level. You don't know what you have in Prince Jerry. He is young, educated, handsome. To top it all, he is rich. Come to think of it, I haven't heard from you guys lately. I hope you guys are cool. I took your advice. What advice? I broke up with the prince. What? Are you insane? But you, you, you. What? Just... What? Don't even put 
me into this. I said what I said, hoping you would take him as serious as you took your job. How could you have broken up with him? Listen, the prince wanted to get married. But I'm not ready to get married because of my job. Why? Well, listen, I did the right thing, okay? Anyways, congratulations on the engagement. This girl is a fool. I heard that. Thank you. So tell me, son, how are you catching up with Viola? I'm also interested in that. Who is Viola? Stop the pretense. Who is Viola? Like, seriously? Viola. Daddy, who is Viola? Does it mean that your meeting with her these past days means nothing? Since you don't even remember her name? Oh, your stockbroker, Viola. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes you a lot. Daddy, come on! But that's true! Uh, Did she tell you that? Why are you sounding like this? Didn't you see the way she was staring at you the other day? Martins, the question should be, was I looking into her eyes? <coughs> well, she's a very nice woman, and I'll be happy if you get to know her. Who knows? Something good might come out of it. Okay, now, what is this called? Matchmaking? <laughs> I'll tell you more about her after the meal. It will interest you to know. Why this is getting more interesting? Why do I have this feeling that Your Majesty purposely sent his stockbroker mm. based on this purpose? Martin, he needs a wife in his life, don't you think? Hello, guys. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm sitting here and I'm hearing everything you're saying. You guys are actually discussing me here. So what is this? It's not a bad idea at all, trust me. But it's a good one. Coming from a man who was drooling after her, I can see how sincere you are. Fine, I know I like her very much, okay? But you of all people know that I cannot have anything intimate with her. You know I'm married, I'm hooked for life. Good point. Reminds me, when was the last time you spoke with your wife? <laughs> I don't need to call Benita every second for you to know that we both communicate. Oh, you should, okay? You should be worried about what those white folks do with her is against what I do with my life and who I hang out with. Don't try to change your topic, please. Benita and I are always communicating. Besides, she will soon round up with her studies and come back home. And when she does, I will not have time for you. I will not even have time to give you all the counsel that I'm doing now. So I would advise you make the very good use of it. Now. Cancel me? Yes, cancel you. Shut up, dude. You don't even have enough wisdom to advise yourself, let alone another person. Look at a man who buys condoms in packets and cartons, talking about cancelling me. <laughs> Excuse me, man. Please come, man. Whatever. If the king decides to get you a woman, trust me, I know the kid is actually doing you a favor. Not that slot which you are thinking of ending up with. That will wreck your life to pieces. So I would advise you to take the king's advice, okay? So that you'll be happy. Just accept the woman which the king is offering you on a platter of gold. I pray Benita comes back on time so you can leave here and go back home and stop talking trash and doing trash. You've not had any serious relationship these past years. And as a good father, I'm only trying to help. Thank you for trying to help, but um, I wouldn't be needing it now because I am in a relationship and I cannot go out with your ideal woman. Who are you going out to? I hope it's not that event planner already considered as a no good for you. I see you have been listening to Martins. Listen, we mean well for you. So we want the best for you. 
just give your life chance. And if by any reason she's not good enough for you, then you can end the relationship. She'll come over for lunch tomorrow if you don't mind. Well, if that smile does not mean a yes, then I don't know anything. But I hope I don't regret this. You never know the outcome of a thing until you have tried it. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. To the best of my knowledge, you work as my dad's top broker. Why are you asking private questions about my brother? Um, you are right, my princess. I'm your dad's stock broker. But in all honesty, I am more than that to him. I'm your dad's financial consultant. I run your dad's financial empire. Okay, so how does this relate with my brother? He has his own business and is doing so well in it. I mean, my brother does not interfere in my father's business. You should be in the best position to know that. My, my princess, I am <laughs> trying as much as possible to make this conversation a friendly one. But I do not know if it's possible. If you want to know why my brother is still single, I think he should be in the best position to answer that. Not me. Um. <clears throat> I am only um, concerned as a family member. <laughs> Besides, my princess, your brother is so cute and gentle. And he has this thriving business, like you said earlier. But then again, as the most important woman in his life right about now, don't you think it's high time you told him that he needs a woman? I can see you are getting on well with her, and I presume you like her, or don't you? I like who? I mean, the lady the king is forcing on you. He's stockbroker. You like her, right? <laughs> Why would you say he's forcing her on me? I am sorry if that is not what it is, but uh, that is what I believe. I don't know why the king is asking you to go into a relationship with that woman and you have abandoned the one you have been seeing for a very long time now just because of that. Why would you do a thing like that? Alona, do you realize you're technically insulting me? Why would you insinuate my father runs my life? I am sorry if that is the way you understood it. But have you bothered to ask yourself, for example, why would the king want you to go into a relationship with that lady? Why? I respect you, Alona. And that's because you have worked closely with my father. I want you to respect me too. I respect you too, my prince. I am just concerned. You have no business discussing my privacy. I want you to stop now. Okay, my prince. Just understand one thing. I, I want you to be very careful with whatever thing you're doing. Just be very, very careful, my prince. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. I have not seen this smile in a long while. What do you expect? And I'm just returning from an awesome trip. Hmm. Did it in any way involve my son? Involved? It was all about him, your majesty. Oh. Do I get to hear the good news then? Um, we chatted like we've known each other for ages. Then he must be right for you. I know. The reason I asked of him. Your Majesty, I love your son so much that I can't even explain it. I... And I love you too. What? You don't want me anymore? Viola, 
You are with my son now. We can't continue. Your Majesty, what I feel for you is real too. I can be your son's official wife and your woman secretly. Well, you explained that to me. But does it even sound right? Oh, Your Majesty, do not give me that religion of right and wrong. You and I know that the world has evolved beyond that. What matters now is what makes us happy. I missed you. I'm very much happy for you, my prince. <laughs> so what's the plan? When will the wedding bell ring? Really? Yeah. Don't be too fast, man. Who is talking about wedding bells already? But that's the target. Listen, man. If you love this girl, I mean, if you like this girl, I will advise you go ahead and marry her. Was that how you married Benita? We are not talking about Benita and I here. We are talking about you and Viola here. Why not answer the questions, Martins? Is that how you married your wife? I mean, why are you advising your friend and your cousin to end up marrying a woman he just hanged out with only one weekend? Who does that? Who invited you here? And who made you his advisor? Alwanao, thanks for the drink. You may go now. My prince, do not listen to anybody. And don't be in a hurry to make a decision. Analyze all angles before you take any decision. Please. Thank you. What impudence. My prince, are we not giving this man so much freedom in this palace? Martins, if you don't know Alwa Nango by now, then you don't live in this palace. He's just being himself. My prince, he's overstepping his boundaries. Though. <laughs> well, I will not strain my head over his problems, huh? Oh. So tell me, how is Viola? Okay, Martins, um, here is what we have come up with. If your company is okay with the plan, you can start planning. What is this? What? <laughs> Momo's having a heart attack here. The figure here is too much. Five billion naira is too much for just a seminar. Why not go through the whole plan? then you can see why it amounted to 5 million naira. There is no need going through it. 5 billion naira is too much. That's why I said your company should go through the plan. If there is anything they feel it's not necessary, they are free to take it out. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. And by the way, high surprise. That reminds me, the prince said you both have been hanging out recently. Um, yes. We're only getting to know each other. It's that bad. Do you know why I respect you, sir? Because I came into this world and realized that you are very close to my parents. And I am still very close to your father. Even 10 years after we buried the queen mother, your mother, I am still very close to your father. Do you know why? I don't want to know why because I am so not in the mood for that right now. Why did you stop me? Very simple. The king brought her in. And for some strange reasons, the prince fell for her. Have you equally fallen for her? What are you talking about? Oh. Hello, girl. I'm on my way, but I got distracted by our housekeeper. What? I'll see you soon. I'm already on my way. I'm coming right now. What? Mm -hmm. The king has been doing all categories of nonsense with that idiot. And suddenly she is positioning herself to have the prince 
and then desecrate the sanctity of this palace. Who is the native doctor that made this charm for her and makes her believe she will succeed? <laughs> it will not happen. You know you joke a lot. I'm not joking. I've been trying to reach him. And when he finally answered, he told me that he's going to be unavailable this period. Maybe he's busy with work. I don't think so. His cousin just left here. His attitude when I asked about him was not funny. So what is your mind telling you then? I don't know. But I am beginning to like him. Whoa! <laughs> That is what I am talking about. I am scared. What if he's pulling out already? With all you just said, that is not possible. He, he came to you. He was making every effort to be with you. Just last and let him do the chasing. And don't ever show him you are desperate. I'm not desperate. I'm, I just like him. I'm, I'm only saying, anyway, just relax, okay? I'm sure he will come back when he has sorted himself out. Okay? Just smile. <laughs> hey, 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 my prince, please. Can I have a word with you? What now? Yes, right now, if you, if you don't mind, can you just come with me? My lady, please don't be offended, but I want to take my prince outside. There is something I want to discuss with him very urgent. I'll go in. It's fine, my prince. I will wait. But what is it that you cannot say here? Uh, my prince, I cannot say it here. I want to take you outside where the base of the air will be any witness that I've already spoke to you. Come with me. As in right now. Okay, my dear, please just stand. Make yourself comfortable yeah. in there. I will join you soon. All right. All right, the door is open. This is happening very fast. And I hope that with this, we shall seal the relationship. You're beginning to get on my nerves. And if I react to it, you will not like it. I am sorry, my prince, but I'm doing this for your good. What is the problem? Well, are you going to take that woman to your room to possibly taste the woman in her? I mean, has your relationship gotten to that extent already? Are you now prognosing into my private affairs? What do you mean, taste the woman in her? My prince, I'm sorry. But you should be able to understand that I mean well. To taste the woman in a woman is the same thing the Bible calls know the woman. Let me ask you, has your relationship got into that? You shouldn't allow that at all. To take that woman to anywhere to know her, because it is not safe. What do you mean?
My prince, that was the last time she had lunch with the royal family. The first time she did, I equally caught them in such compromised position. What are you insinuating? My prince, I just told you what I witnessed. Not an insinuation. I brought you out here so that the heir will bear me witness that I actually warned you to stay off that woman. Have you lost your mind, Alwanang? Do you know you can be severely punished if the king hears about Why this? Why are you bringing punishment into this? I am only trying to save the land of brass from the impending doom. I mean the calamity that is coming. Listen, I can swear on the sacredness of the grave of the queen mother, that is your mother, that your father the king goes down with that woman. And if you the son will equally go down with that same woman, can't you see that the calamity of extreme proportion will befall this land? and possibly consume us. All this can be averted if we put our libido in shake. Are you telling me we can't control our libido anymore? How do I do that? Can you tell me? <laughs> wow, you're crazy! <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I can swear on the sacredness of the grave of the Queen Mother, that is your mother, that your father, the king, goes down with that woman. And if you, the son, will equally go down with that same woman, can't you see that the calamity of extreme proportion will befall this land and possibly consume us? All this can be averted if we put our libido in shake. <coughs> you, you... You don't like me? Uh, more than anything else I do, but... We, we're just getting to know each other. Meet me at the lounge. Here. Yeah, trying to sort out something with my daughter. So how is it with you and the prince? Oh, my king, your son is simply a diamond amongst precious stones. Oh, really? Yes, I see king. both of you are getting along together. You can say that again, my king. As a matter of fact, he's outside waiting for me. He wants to drop me off because I didn't come with my car. Oh, okay then. So see you some other time. Thank you, my king. See you, princess. Bye. Daddy, I'm wondering why you chose her for him. They don't even look good together. How would you know that? When you hardly look at them together. Tell me. Why don't you like this boarding relationship? Daddy, I don't have a problem with my brother looking for a wife to marry. I am just not comfortable with her around him. That's it. How is that? I don't know, Daddy. I just can't figure it out. I don't know. 
This whole thing is a total waste of time for both of them, if you ask me. Uh, Daddy, I am sorry if you feel bad because she is your choice for him. But that does not erase my doubt. Was that Prince Jerry that just dropped you? Hmm. Your usual. Always <laughs> peeping through the window. Prince Jerry brought you home. How? And what do you mean by how? See, please. I need to go freshen up. I am hot right about now. And when you finally get your tongue back, please come have a chat with me. Oh, the other day, you went to see him. And today, he brought you home in his car. <laughs> Viola, <laughs> what's up, girl? Don't leave your girl behind on this. Whatever your instinct tells you, that's what's up. <laughs> Viola, don't tell me you are not shagging father and son. That could amount to abomination in Africa. Viola is an international lady. So, I do not connect with that abomination bullshit. I can swear on the sacredness of the grave of the Queen Mother, that is your mother, that your father the king goes down with that woman. And if you, the son, will equally go down with that same woman, can't you see that the calamity of extreme proportion will befall this land and possibly consume us? All this can be averted if we put our libido in shake. Are you telling me we can't control our libido anymore? Why are you being immature? Immature? The priest is a very busy man. He's the director of All Well Industries, a company that has over 160 workers. He could be busy, like he said. Is that why he couldn't do lunch with me? <sighs> the prince told you he would be having a very busy day, didn't he? Why are you doubting that? Your Majesty, this isn't the first time. Ever since the last time I came to the palace, his attitude towards me has changed. It's become 
It's become subtle. Is he seeing someone else? Oh, come on, Viola. Don't be unnecessarily paranoid. The prince has his own life to live, too. His life is not supposed to revolve around you, is it? Moreover, there's something that bothers me. Which is? The princess is not comfortable with your relationship with her brother. And that is not good. Why? Well, both of them are very close. And the prince will do anything that the princess advises him to do. As it is, she's not in support of the relationship and I'm afraid that that may bring problems for you in the relationship. For now, I want to believe that the prince's behavior is because of what the princess must have told him. And that is not good. Are you happy with her? Relationships are not about happiness alone. You are barely one month together and you are already calling it a relationship. How? What are you driving at? Naturally, I am not comfortable with her around me. And I also don't think I'm in the best position to advise you to quit the relationship. But I think you should study this woman. You should know her better. At least you, should, you, you need to know the kind of woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. The other day you took her to your bedroom. Why? Come on. Stop this. This is my life. Yeah, hello. Yeah, this is Princess. Who's speaking, please? Who? Viola. I'm at the palace. So, do I sign the cap to come pick you? That won't be necessary. I'll drive down to the place. All right. Okay. Um, and my princess, please, do not breathe a word of this to the prince. Yes, please, let it be our little lady's secret. Thank you. Okay, I'm expecting you soon. <laughs> Bye. That was easy. I'm still amazed on how you ended up with the son and abandoned the father. Hey, 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 please. This will be the last time you will say this. Because if I let you, you will say it in the presence of the princess, or even the prince. The princess agreed to your invitation, just like that. I'm even surprised myself. But I, I think this is a good sign. I must win her over and I will not let anyone destroy my chances with the prince. Hmm. Um, if this is not love, then what is it? Baby girl, this is L-O-V-E, love. love. Okay? Now please, let's quickly perfect our plan. Um, she just got these. They are new collections. Whoa. They are really nice, you know. Yes, yes. They, are. they are all handmade. Oh, okay. One in each bundle. So, okay. you can never see anything like this on another person. That's nice. That's okay. It's cool. <laughs> How much are they, please? Um, this is 35,000 there. Okay. And this is 45,000 there. You know, this... No, no, no. That's okay. I'll just take two. Just give me this and this one. Okay. I, I like this. My princess, you can have as much as you want. I know, but not immediately. I'll have to come back. Of course, my princess. I will pay for them. The reason I asked you to come. I understand that two months ago was your birthday. Pity that I wasn't there. 
So, this is like your birthday treat. You can have as much as you want. It's never too late to celebrate the birthday of a loved one. So go ahead, pick as much as you want. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you so much. Hurry up, by the time we're done here, we'll go back to the Maybe shoe like section. Yeah, this is beautiful. Nice. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, it's so colorful. Yes, it is. Oh, my <laughs> princess, you're so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Viola, I think you have won her heart. I knew she would be the materialistic type. <laughs> so, what do you expect? That she go sing your praises to her brother and possibly encourage him to take you more seriously? My darling, that can happen. And what if she does not have such powers on him? At least she will be on my side. <laughs> Viola, the master planner. Um, anyway, let's talk business. How much are those? Everything she packed. Um, um I, everything is 89,000 now. Those? I, I heard you say each gown was about 45,000 naira, And she took five dresses and five pairs of shoes, so... Well... I was only playing the game the master planner asked me to play. Hmm. <laughs> My darling of life. <laughs> Not to worry, let me do you a transfer. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand that. Did she tell you that? The question is, are you avoiding her? That with all due respect, I do not owe you an explanation as to how my relationship goes. I was not involved in this relationship in any way. I wouldn't even be asking you. The fact that you recommended her to me does not mean I'll always give you a rundown on how we run our relationship. Listen, son. Viola is a good woman. I don't want you to lose her. Don't you understand? That I'm busy with work. Since she came to you complaining that I don't give her time and attention, kindly tell her I am busy with work. Excuse me. That is expected. You should be calling her on her mobile. Why should I spend my hard-earned money making international call when I can actually do it less on WhatsApp call? WhatsApp? Yeah. Some women don't appreciate WhatsApp. Probably because they think it's quite cheap. Well, that's very foolish of such women. And I am very disappointed with Benita to be among such backward-thinking women. Mm. If you think so. Yeah, I know so. I know that look on your face. Who has gotten on your, your nerves this time? Why would she rush to that to complain that I don't give her attention? Oh, that must be Viola. This whole relationship thing is choking me. If I'm not happy in it, then what's the essence? Okay, I thought you said relationship is not all about happiness. Bro, why can't you make this relationship work out between you both? She's pretty nice if you ask me. She is actually nice. Very nice, you. yeah. Yes, she is. Why not give love a chance? Open your heart and love her, please. She is a very nice person, trust me. This obviously isn't the right company for me at this time. <clears throat> Can't you just get one woman? Just one and keep her. Why can't you just concentrate on the problem you have with your wife and leave my brother alone? You planted a seed of discouragement in me, and since then, I have not been a happy man. I am sorry if that is the way you feel, but that was never my intention. I don't know. Sometimes you act weird, other times you come across as someone who has a touch with the metaphysical. The truth is that I don't even know what my composition is. 
I am afraid of myself sometimes, but I trust my instinct. Your instincts? Yes. This is about your instinct, not really like you saw them in any compromising position? Are you expecting me to give you a direct response on that? No. I just wanted to be cautious before an abomination is committed in this palace. There is no, no, there is no harm in being cautious. Not when everyone believes I'm being unreasonable by withdrawing from her. Even my sister, the princess, is now on her side. You know what? There are seers in this land that can assist you to delve into the unknown and understand what is happening. Why don't you use their services and understand what is going on? But I just want to advise you, my prince, please do not be in a hurry to take that woman to bed. Don't, please. I just got to his room right now. Okay, hold on, please. Okay. Um, you have a call. Cool. Just. Hello. Oh, Viola. Yeah, sorry, my phone's been on silent. I'm trying to catch it up. Can I call you back later? What are you now? Iron girl, now you have become her ally, right? Why are you doing this to her? And why are you so interested in us being together? And this started since she called you out, right? My brother, why not give her a chance? Please, I promise you won't regret it. I was taking a nap before you came in here. Please let me sleep on that. <sighs> This is not a process. This is evil. My king, you are the head of this kingdom and no woman must touch your head. Let alone watch himself with water and soap. To Viakwa! Will you shut up? You should not tell me what should be and what should not be. But you know, my king, that I am telling you the truth. What you have done is an abomination. It's a taboo that can destroy this kingdom. To Viakwa again! I am the head of this land and I decide what should be done and what should not be done. I decide what is law. Now, go ahead. Try it one more time to watch this head. I am going to kill you and cut your remains into pieces of meat and flush everything down the toilet. Get out. Get out!
Hello, Lionel. Good morning. My prince. This morning surely looks good, and that is why you say good morning. But there was something that happened in the metaphysical last night, and I'm wondering, for how long will men be blind? Is this what I get for coming to answer you this morning? Now, what is your problem in this palace? My prince, I am committed to the progress of everyone in this palace. I am not the problem. Unfortunately, you and your father are the problems. I don't know what you mean by that. But I recall you made damaging complaints about Viola to me. And because of that, I have stayed away from her. Why do you still count me in as part of the problem? I actually called you here to brief you on the terrible dream I had last night. What? You... You called me here to discuss your dream? What is my business with your dream? Listen, my prince. More reason you have to further stay away from that evil woman. I saw her in that terrible dream and she was washing the head of the king with water and the soap. What's the meaning of that? It means something very deep. That evil woman has already possessed the king. For practically, she made the king to kneel under her authority. And she was pouring water on his head, washing the head with soap. Listen, a woman no matter how exalted she is, is not permitted to touch the head of a crown head of any kingdom in this part of the world. Talk less of washing them with water and soap in the open. And that's exactly what the woman did. For her to succeed in doing that simply means she represents something that we don't even know. And I'm urging you one more time, stay away from that woman. I am sorry, Viola, but I'm the prince is not at home. It's fine. I did not come to see the prince. I am here on the princess's invitation. Really? So you have suddenly become close to everyone? Excuse me? I am just wondering. It's just kind of confusing how you have suddenly abandoned the king and you are not after the prince. How did you do that? In all honesty, I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. From the king's stockbroker, now to Prince's lover. That's a very confusing transition. How did you do that? Mind your business. Mister? You know there are spirits that guide all policies. And the spirits that are guiding this place will never allow you to succeed with whatever evil you are planning. The Queen's Watcher. Viola, please. Please disregard whatever I said to you. I am sorry. Please. Is he not supposed to be one of the staff here? Why is he always acting as if he's someone important? Well, he's actually important in his own capacity. But I'm, I'm very sorry it won't happen again. I promise. I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't have time for his type anyway. Look what I got to you. Okay. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Yes, it is. And it is yours. No way. Mm-hmm. I got two of it. One for you and one for myself. <laughs> so nice. Go on, try it. Try it on. I can't wait to see how it fits. Fiona, I appreciate this. But you can't just keep spinning on me like this. Come on, my princess. 
You are like a sister to me. You call it spending. I call it doing what makes me happy. Thank you so much. But funny enough, do you know a lot of people think I have everything? I mean, you're the only person that gives me gifts. Thank oh. you. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Go on, go on and try it. I can't wait to see how it fits. I know. <laughs> see, I just got back from work and I am knackered. Are you too weak to say hello to her? She came here to visit you and not me. I already got that information from the palace keeper. And she's supposed to be your woman. Brother, what is going on? This woman loves you, can't you see? Have you heard she's helping Martin's police talk? What has that got to do with anything? Everything. Everything. Daddy said this is the reason why he is rich today, because she helped him. Can you imagine what she will do for her own man? Have you? So this has been reduced to material gains. Oh, please don't say that. Don't. Just give love a chance. Please. Please, I'm just coming back. I need to go shower and get something into my system. I'm tired. Okay. Will you come and join us? If I find a good reason to. If I wait for you in the next 30 minutes and I don't see you, I'll come and get you. Do you want something else? That'll be all I want. Thanks for your time. Thank you. His attitude is weird. You see, Alwana is one human being you can never understand no matter how hard you try. I won't even try to. It's okay. Well, I just want to apologize for not spending time with you as I should lately. This past weeks have been very crazy. What matters now is that we're together. I have really missed you. At a point, I felt like my life was passing away right in front of me. Oh, come off it and stop the flattery. I'm not flattering you. <laughs> my prince, you mean the world to me. You really do. And my dad, what does he mean to you? My prince, I, I do not understand what you're talking about. I know you're close to my dad, but what I do not know is how close you are to him. Like I said earlier, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, it's a simple question and uh, your answer to it will determine how far this relationship will go. What's your relationship with the king? A difficult question, right? Uh, no, of course not, my prince. I... Um, you, you, you already know the answer. My prince, you know that I am a stockbroker. I have been for, I have been for years. And, um, um, and that has, um, you know, strengthened my relationship with your dad. He's, he's a very good friend of mine. More like a confidant. any problem no no not at all uh, just like i just that i i think i'm not ready for this relationship yet is it possible we take a break 
What is that supposed to mean? What exactly is your problem? This is my problem. What is happening is my problem, father. Tell me, why are you so interested in seeing that I continue and sustain this relationship? If you had come out to tell me that she does not make you happy, then we won't be discussing this. But you have no excuse at all. Discussing this? Or you forcing it down on me? I have said it several, if I'm saying it now again. I am not comfortable with her or with your arrangements. And neither you nor anybody can force me to do otherwise. I said, tell me you don't want to be with a good woman. I'm sick and tired of this whole sermon of Yola being a good woman all the time. Father, you recently told us you wanted to get married. If that be the case, and you cannot afford to see Viola leave this palace without being intertwined with one person here, then go ahead and make her your wife. Huh? Yes. Go ahead and get married to her and leave me alone. I know what I want. Excuse me, Dad. Your mind, you cannot do that. You I cannot sit your business what I do with my love life. We are your blood and we want the best for you. I know what is best for me, and you being my blood does not give you the right to dictate to me. Did anybody choose Benita for you? Those are two different cases. No. Oh, no, there are no two different scenarios. I do not want to discuss about this again. This is the last time I will discuss this with you, Jeremy. What do you want? What do you want? To ask you just two questions. And I swear on the grave of the queen mother that I will not make it more than two. One, why are you so interested in getting the priest, the brass priest of the brass kingdom, get settled with Viola? Number two, what bribe did she give you to lure you into talking this nonsense? Are you okay? What kind of questions are those? Very important questions. You know the prince more than the king because both of you practically grew up together. You have lived your lives together all this while. Have you made any effort to ask him some more questions or try to see this from his point of view? Have you? Why don't you mind your domestic duties and stay away with issues concerning the royal family Martins, members? Martins, I am royalty by service. Ask the king and he will confirm my status to you. I was here, serving the king when the prince and the princess were born. I was here with the queen mother and she entrusted both of them in, under my care. I am not going to allow the prince go astray because somebody came from nowhere and is trying to become an adviser. I don't have your time. I will not waste my precious time listening to your blabbering. I will not, excuse me. When was the last time you heard from your wife, Benita? Are you not bothered that it is possible that she is slowly drifting into the arms of some other man overseas? Are you not? No, this is not the time for you to get angry. And it is also not the time for you to take bribe from the king and Viola and force my princess to marry the wrong woman. This is time for you to take an analytical focus into your own marriage that is about to collapse on the account of your lack of commitment. Your family is supposed to be everything, Martins. Think. Think. Like I said, I don't have your time! Excuse me. So you ended it with Viola already? I never really had any relationship with Viola. We were only trying to build friendship when she killed it. What exactly did she do wrong? Because from my observations, that girl really, really likes you. I cannot pinpoint it, but I knew it didn't just feel right. Yeah, it wasn't working out. What exactly do you want in a woman? 
I really do not know exactly, but when I see a woman I love, I will know. Okay. And how much longer do you intend to search for this woman? As much time as is necessary. And I promise you when I do, you'll be proud of me. <clears throat> I wish you the best in your search. Thank you. Now, can we talk about how you got Viola to like you so much that you cannot go a day in this palace without the mention of her name? <laughs> so, are you trying to tell me that you and Prince Jerry are fully back together? Fully. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you look happy. Of course, I am happy. <laughs> I like him. You like him? That has been the old story. Come on, girlfriend. You should be talking about love yet. No, no, no. Love is abstract. Likeness to me, without any apology, is much stronger than love. Sometimes when you talk, I start wondering the kind of books you read. How can a woman be telling me that likeness is stronger than love? I neither owe you apologies mm -hmm. nor explanations. I stand with my belief. Are you going to be around this weekend? I hope so too. So tell me, is anything special happening this weekend? Oh! <laughs> it's your birthday on the seat. <laughs> oh sorry, oh god, I almost forgot. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, the prince has promised to give me a birthday treat. And he said I can come along with my friends. Of course. Oh, yeah. I am going to be there. Every other plant will have to wait. I cannot miss a chance to hang out with Prince Cherry. Really? Hang out with the prince or with me? Come on. With you, of course. Huh. And with Prince beside you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it is sad, but you just have to put yourself together. How am I supposed to do that? I love him, don't you understand? If you love him, then you have to let him go. He deserves to be happy. But I want him to be happy. I will make him happy. He isn't even giving me the chance to do that. He only asks for a break. A break? When we haven't even started. It's obvious he doesn't like me. I don't want you to get upset about what I'm going to tell you. Please, you better not say it if it's going to upset me. Because I'm already broken. Actually... Maybe it will help. God may be the one interfering. I mean, it is wrong for you to be sleeping with father and son. Yes. I understand you don't like the word abomination, but surely not morality. It is morally wrong, and it has its own precaution. God may be the one shielding you from destruction. Think about it. day in my life. Remarkable not because I haven't attended a birthday party this small before with a few guests, but because it's a special one. And today I'm going to do something I've never done before.
What are you doing? Happy birthday, baby. I want us to remember this birthday celebration forever. I want us to make it permanent. Please marry me. And you definitely gonna kill me one day. <laughs> now can I call you a woman killer? Oh, you can call me whatever name you want. Oh, because you deserve them. <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> ah, um, you see, your sex game keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And um, let me tell you something. The best is yet to come. Really? Yeah. And I can't wait to, for you to dig it in. Come. Dig it in. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Will you marry me? Say something. Grab the ring. Baby. Baby. I supposed to be a private party in his friend's bar along Osborne Drive, my king. But the party went bad. Listen, Martins, can you spare me all these rhetorics? I know your party went bad, but what has that got to do with my daughter and I? The party went bad because of the friends. My brother. What happened to my brother? What happened? He first went down. I, I thought it was a joke and the next day he collapsed. My son collapsed? How? I rushed him to the hospital, my king. How? He proposed to his girl, Christine. And she walked out on him without saying anything. Oh, come on, Martins. What nonsense are you telling me? That my son collapsed because of a woman? Oh, Dad. No, you shouldn't be saying this now. Is this what you should be asking? Martins, please, what hospital is he, please? The family hospital is with a doctor now, my friend. Now tell me, who is this Christine? And for how long has my son been seeing her? You closed this account with 300 million naira. Yes, ma. When was this account open? Exactly two months ago, ma. And uh, he's equally interested and running a fixed deposit account with us and he's starting with a sum of 20 million naira. Wow. How do you manage to do this magic? <sighs> Sorry ma. I mean, how do you manage to stay ahead of your colleagues? This customer, for instance, just opened this account last two months and he's everywhere ready to do business with us. And from his BVN tracking, he's just opened an account with us. How do you manage to do this magic? It's the grace of God, ma. Yes, I know it's the grace of God. But there must be something else. I mean, something personal. Yes. Not at all, ma. Is he married? My customer? No, he's not. That's it, then. He must be interested in you, and he's only trying to impress you. <laughs> not at all, ma. He's my uncle. Oh, really? Yes. I'm sorry about the negative assumption. It's okay. But there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Sorry if I'm being personal. But are you not ready to settle down? I mean, you are smart, intelligent, beautiful, hardworking. Is it that men doesn't notice all these qualities in you? Or is it that you've not seen the right person? Ma, you know how the sector works. I mean, I'm not ready to lose my job or any promotion. Come on! Who says you're going to lose your job? As your branch manager, I am telling you that Climax Mandate Bank doesn't have any policies that says a female worker shouldn't get married 
or we lose our promotion for same reason. Please, if you have a suitable suitor, get married, all right? I had to follow my heart. Mm. I do not buy the story you just told Juliet and Anita. You, you don't want to be restricted by loyalty, blah, 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 blah. What rubbish? Seriously. Is that your reason? I want you to tell me the real reason you turned down his proposal. Loyalty cannot stop you if you desire to play around after marriage. And you know that. Tell me your reason. Come on, girl. Your best is right. You can talk to me. I'll talk to you if you promise not to judge me. Okay, fine. I promise I won't. It's about Victor. Victor? What has Victor got to do with this? But we're in a relationship. Are you? I, I, I didn't know. You're just telling me. Christine, are you insane? You turned down his proposal because of Victor. Victor is just like your sex machine and you are not in a relationship with him for you all I care. Wrong. Did you hear me? I said you are wrong. Victor and I are in love. I love him. True, the sex is there. We are in a relationship. As a matter of fact, sex with him is way better and hotter than with the prince. Excuse me. You're going to another dimension. Don't confirm my fears, please. Sex. Sex is an essential part of every marriage. And as for me, a major factor. Victor is a better option than the prince. Oh my God. Christine. You turned down his proposal, not because you're in love with Victor, or he has promised you future together, but because sex with him is hotter and better. And hey, you promised not to judge. <clears throat> I, I won't judge you. Who am I to judge you? But I will not fail to tell you that you are very stupid. Yes! What does that? Sex. God. I am out of here before I talk. This is insane. God. Hi, sexy. I don't want to speak no more. Wake me up. I don't want to speak no more. Why are you making a case for your brother? Why are you compelling me to have pity on him? Daddy, he is not just your son. He's the heir apparent to the throne. Daddy, mm. please, he's in, he's in shackles already. All I need for you is to talk to him with respect, please. I gave him a good woman on a platter of gold. What did he do? He rejected her and broke her heart. Not just that. He went ahead to propose to a strange woman we know nothing about. Yes, Daddy. That's a mistake on his path. Really? But he is sorry. Nobody is above mistake. Mm. Please, Daddy, you have to forgive him, please. You know what I believe? Kama has caught up with your brother. And 
you should be telling him that. Come on. I don't understand, Daddy. How, how did Kama get into this? What Kama are you talking about? Kama, that innocent girl, he broke her heart. If he will listen to you, go and tell him that he can still reconcile with her. And to me, that is the only thing that can heal him. That you are so impossible. Whatever. I forgive you because I love you. But you should know that I was hurt. I, I gave myself to you. I was willing to make things work between us. But you pushed me away. Probably because of that lady. Can we not talk about this now? Not like talking about it makes me happy. So yes. I'll be happy to see that you've put her memories behind you. Do you want anything to eat? I understand that you've refused to eat since you got back from the hospital. Home. You know, something in me tells me you are a good woman with a good heart. Thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. Under normal circumstances, there is no reason I will be preventing a beautiful woman like you from seeing the prince. But I am sorry this is not the best time for you to see him. How do you mean? Okay. Did you call him? Of course. Uh, I, I, you, know, you have an appointment with him and uh, he's away, you're coming? I actually tried calling him, but his line is switched off. But hey, listen, I'm an old friend, okay? And I'm, I'm sure he won't have a problem with seeing me. Okay, just leave Elizabeth? Hi, Martins. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm actually here to see the prince. Okay. But the palace keeper, like he introduced himself, won't let me in. So you've heard how heard. bad news flies. Heard what? Is he okay? Trust me on this one. I will take her to go see the prince. And there is nothing you or anybody can do about it. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Come in, let me take you. Is he okay? He's all right, it's fine. Not to worry. I will take care of you, okay? I will not leave your side up until you are fully recovered. You don't have to. I don't need anyone to babysit me. But you are in a vulnerable state and you need some TLC. Tender, love and care. Uh, my prince. Um, sorry if I interrupted anything. Uh, my things actually led me to your room. Are you okay? Lizzie, what are you doing here? Um, I called your line all through yesterday and even this morning, but it was switched off. I ask again, are you okay? Um, now that you're here, I'm happy to see you and I'm fine. Please do sit. Thank you. Um, sorry, I still don't understand what Martin was trying to say. Like, are you... did you fall ill or something? Forget what he said. 
what matters now is I am fine, like very fine. So how is life? How is work? How is everything? Uh, well, everything is fine. I understand that it was Martins who brought her up. He called her Elizabeth. And, and, he, and then he abandoned me as if I was some useless intruder. An intruder who has no relevance. Who is she? Elizabeth is his old friend. Old friend? Mm -hmm. oh, hold on a second. He, he once had a girl in his life? Yes. In fact, they were so close. She reminded us so much about our mother. At the point, he wanted to get married to her. But she said she wasn't ready. I see. So, what is she doing here? Go back and find out. You shouldn't have even left in the first place. You are the woman in his life right now. Go back and stick to your man. Thank you so much, Julia. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm so sorry about what happened. But trust me, it's not the end of life. I, f I truly feel your pain. You must really love her. No. I love you. Elizabeth. A lot. I want to be with you. If you hadn't gone, we would have gone deeper. What went wrong? It has nothing to do with the way I feel about you. It's... Marry me. You marry me. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Hello, Viola. It's over, right? I hope you're not planning to do something drastic like drive into a lagoon or hog a transformer. Or maybe drive off the bridge to kill yourself. Don't try a thing like that, okay? <laughs> I know you are stupid. Please. And it is unlikely for you to have ever had any relationship. Really? Do you even know what it is to fall in love? I have four sons, all of them graduates. I have a wife who, who loves me and I love her too. Okay? Now, I am pleading with you from the deepest part of my heart. If you truly love the prince, then allow him to be with the one that he loves. You know it yourself that it is a taboo for a woman to dream to be a wife to someone he has already slept with the father. And what the hell are you talking about? You see your life? You have been messing around in a palace where a competent palace keeper has been engaged. I am the one. You are not just a stockbroker to the king. You share something deeper with him. 
and you cannot deny it. Why don't you leave the prince alone? Let him marry the one that truly deserves him. The one that will give him peace of mind, not the one that will give him untimely death. That's your car, hit it. You have no evidence to you. So get lost and leave me out of your business. People like you that operate in human courts, where they manipulate justice all the time, carrying out miscarriage of trust, you are the ones that rely so much on evidence. People like me that believe in natural justice, we need no evidence because we know that always the just will be vindicated. Now be the one that will get lost. Wake me up. Be careful, don't wound yourself. No so you can see another man to deceive. Wake me up. I don't wanna sleep no more. <laughs> Now I know what they mean by sweetest taboo. I don't want to sleep no more. You look so much like the taboo to me. Wake me up. I don't want to sleep no more. I need to stand right now. I need to stand right now. Majenna. Both of you are engaged? Yes, Dad. The last time I checked, you were almost bedridden. She healed me. As soon as I saw her, I regained my strength. And naturally, regaining your strength is enough reason for you to propose to a woman? Not just any woman, as a matter of fact. She's the woman I love. I love her, and she loves me in return. Yes, Your Majesty. We are in love. He's my best friend. And I'll be happy to be his wife. <sighs> Come here, sir. Come here, sir. Are you sure about the decision you just made? Are you sure you know what you're getting yourself into? Or are you just being influenced by the rejection you suffered? No, 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 that. Elizabeth and I have come a long way. We just had a little break. If she was around, I would not have gone out with Christian. I just need to be convinced that you know what you're working into. It's okay. Daddy, this is the best decision I've ever made. And I'm happy with it. My daughter. Well. Come in, my daughter. Welcome to the palace. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Where you look good together. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. Congratulations. You deserve it. Thank you. You might even be getting married before me, thinking you ended the relationship. That's exactly my concern. The last time I checked, you ended things with the prince. So how did this happen? Are you listening to me at all? I decided to stop by to see the prince after he wasn't taking my calls. And... And bam, he proposed. So how did the ring come about? Okay, listen. A lady turned down his proposal. <laughs> and... Out of it. What's the problem? Oh my god. <sighs> Did he 
think I that? A lady turned down his proposal and our friend here gladly accepted it. And she's even flaunting it. <laughs> Why can't you see the positive side of this? That the said lady turned down the prince's proposal because the prince belongs to Lizzie. Lizzie, let me tell you what I think. I think you made yourself so cheap by accepting the ring that another woman rejected. The reason I turned down his proposal was because of my job. You all know that for God's sake. My manager advised me to settle down. And that is why I'm giving the prince a second chance. Now, you can read whatever useless meaning you want for this. But always remember, someone has to fall for another person to rise. Oh, okay? please, spare us your sermon. You accepted a ring that another woman rejected. And nothing can change that. But then, congratulations. Just keep us updated about your wedding plans. Annabelle will always be Annabelle. Oh, a sadist. Come on, girl. What is the next level of celebration? Thank you, darling. Listen, a sadist can actually kill you emotionally if you decide to look away. I'm a first-class graduate of modern philosophy. And a dropout like Annabelle can't kill my mood. I am so shocked that you have not been following developments on social media. And that so many things are going wrong in my life right now. Social media is the least of my worries. Lily? Okay. <laughs> Take a look. What is it? Take a look. And I equally congratulated them, telling the prince that he deserves the best. Is this a joke? It looks real to me, girlfriend. <sighs> that was fast. Does it mean he had her waiting for me to turn down his proposal or what? Whatever. He is getting married. <sighs> well, congratulations to him. To them. Whatever. And when are we going to congratulate you and Victor when you hit the big 40 and zero? Must you joke with everything? What kind of question are you asking? Something you should think about. Anyways, I just thought I should come and give you the good news. I am going back to my salon. See you later. I hear that all the time. You like it, right? Your ears enjoy every sound that comes from it. Actually, my ears are beginning to itch and hot by the sounds of it. They want to hear something new. Something new like? Like when are we getting married? Victor, all we do is have sex, and more sex, and even more sex. I thought you like it, babe. I like it. In fact, I love it, no doubt. Sex with you is fantastic. It blows my brains away. But, can we take a step further? I'm not sure I understand you. Because if you enjoy the sex, 
What step further do you want to take? You want some threesome? Or you want... Marriage. Me? Victor, marriage. Marriage is the step I'm talking about. Can we make this sex legal? And when? In case you've not noticed, I'm not getting any younger. It's high time I started my own family. But I don't have any problem with that. You are free to marry if you've seen the right man of your choice. What did you say? The right man? Yeah. What's right man? The right man that uh, you're ready to spend the whole life with. Victor, what makes you think that you're not the right man? Me? <laughs> I'm not the right man for you. As a matter of fact, marriage is not in my long-term plans. If the right man is available, go ahead and marry him. Girl, I will still be available anytime you need my services. You know what I mean. Get your hands off me! Business brought us together, and by the grace of God, we made a lot of money together. Now that everything we planned did not work out, can we at least return to business? I want to marry you because I love you. I want you to be by my side the rest of my life. Sorry. Marry me, please, Fiona. My love. Your, your, your Majesty, I need to see clients now. And, um, You've just made yourself a deal of a lifetime. Through the Petroleum Minister's PA, I will set up a meeting with you and the people involved. If you've ever loved me, there is only one way to prove that. I don't know what you want me to do, but from the deepest part of my heart, you know I love you. Don't marry me. Marry me. Out of your mind? How can you say such a thing? Your Majesty, you once proposed to me. And you turned down the proposal and preferred my son. My name is Leonardo the Brass. That mafia king of the Brass Kingdom. I can never marry a woman who threw herself on my son and he rejected her. You should know that. Your Majesty. I'm listening. You want to discard me now that I need you the most? I never said I would leave you or discard you like you feel the rag. God knows that that never crossed my mind. But I want to maintain only one relationship with you. Business. I don't know why you agreed to come see you here. Thank you for coming. What do you want? How is the prince? Is it how he has been ever since you dumped him? Or now that he's engaged to Elizabeth, which? So it's true. What do you want? I feel betrayed by the prince. He proposed to me, yet he had another woman by the corner. What difference does it make? You said no to his proposal. I was overwhelmed by surprise. I could not have said no to him because I know I love him. Have you been drinking? Martins, I love the prince. 
And I won't let that woman, or whatever she calls her name, take him away from me. First and foremost, that woman has a name, Elizabeth Arba, a hard-working banker with Climax Mandate Bank. Secondly, I owe you nothing. The deal and transaction we had with your company, my company paid in full, and we owe you nothing. Don't ever call me out to meet you like this next time. Excuse me. Wake me up. I don't wanna sleep no more. Wake me up. I don't wanna sleep no more. Wake me up. I don't wanna sleep no more. Wake me up. I don't wanna sleep no more. I need to stand by them I need to stand Honestly, Christine, I hold nothing against you. Please. I didn't say no because I don't love you. I... Stop, please. It's okay. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm good. So, does that mean you have forgiven me? I have nothing to forgive. You have a right to accept or reject anything you want or do not want. Uh, please. It's you I want. That's the point I'm trying to make. I didn't say no because I don't want you. Please. I'm sorry I'm with someone else now. I love her very much. And she feels the same towards me. Really, you shouldn't have come here. Please, you can't do this to me. I'm begging you. Okay, you know what? Um, sit. Wait for me, let me get something from my room. I'm coming. Wake me up. I don't want to sleep no more. Wake me up. I don't want to sleep no more. Wake me up. I don't want to sleep no more Wake me up I don't want to sleep no more He wants to get something from his room Could it be that ring? Could it be the ring? Stand! Are you not the same Christine that uses what she has to get what she wants? And what does that mean? Why are you claiming you don't know what I'm talking about? That's very disgusting because you know exactly what I mean. The prince asked me to sit here and wait for him. And I am here to tell you that the prince has retired back to his room and he is no longer coming out today. So pick whatever you consider yours and get out of this palace and in your life do not ever think of coming back. Get out. Prince. Prince. Leave! Wake me up. My prince. I don't want to sleep no more. Wake me up. I don't want to sleep no more. Seriously? 
honestly, as in, you got thrown out of the palace. Sorry, girlfriend, but what were you thinking? That you would just walk up to him, tell him to call off his engagement because you were what? No, the moment you told me you turned down his proposal because of the way Victor blows your brain with sagging, I knew something was wrong. But what you just did now confirmed that you have been lost it. No, Linda. If you know that you're here to worsen my situation, if you know that you can't do nothing to help me out of this situation, just pack yourself and leave my house. Oh. This minute, help you with what exactly? What? By the way, where is Victor? Has it done to you? Or has it suddenly become a vegetable? The sex is no longer hot. Card, my dear, at your age for once, it will do you a whole lot of good. Be matured. <sighs> My friend, shut up your mouth if you don't have anything good to say. I'm only concerned about her prestige. You should be concerned about how to work harder and get your own apartment before she moves in with the prince and there'll be no one to pay for this apartment. Peace. So Hi, girl. Hey. Take a look at the message I got. Who is she? Are you asking me? How am I supposed to know? Wait, does it mean that the prince jilted on someone to be with you? Or, and was it after he proposed to the lady that turned him down or before? I have to call the prince immediately. My phone, calm down. Please sit down. Sit down. First, we have to know who this destroyer is. I'll use my true color. The destroyer does not have a true color account. Is there no name attached to the number? No. I have to speak with the prince immediately. Why don't you see him one on one instead of calling? I can't take this. I can't. Lizzie, calm down. Or oh, don't you trust the prince anymore? This is probably one frustrated. She goes trying to make herself relevant. Once you are ready to talk like a human being, then I will be ready to do business with you. Do you remember how many times you've used me? I never denied you my body. Why are you turning me down now that I need it the most? Whatever we did, we did when there was us. I was committed to share everything. But you killed it when you went for my son. What makes you think you've got a choice now? What do you mean by that? You proposed to me because you thought I could send you to jail with the information I have on you. What makes you think that anything has changed? Now listen to me. You blackmailed me the first time into fixing you up with my son. And I forgive you. Now, for the second time in one day, you threaten me. It is no threat, Leonardo. You know exactly what I can do. Then go ahead and do it. Don't you trust me? I trust you. But this is disturbing. Disregard that text message. The person said he wouldn't leave to see us married. And you're telling me to just disregard it like that? Yes, disregard it. Because I'm very certain nobody in this world can ever stop us from getting married except you and I. 
this is actually happening because of your post on Facebook. You shouldn't have uploaded that picture. But I needed to inform my friends. Your friends or the world? We're not going over this again, Lizzie. Listen, you are a public figure. I mean, you are not supposed to post, put things out there because you don't know who likes you and who hates you. Okay? Okay, fine. I accept and I'm sorry I won't do that again. But I want you to forget about that message. I want you to. If you had such a crucial revelation, why did you not tell me? Do you know what it means for a woman to wash the head of a king? Your Majesty, that revelation came to me as the keeper of this palace. And that is because they wanted me to handle it. I didn't want to bother you with that because I already handled it. So, why are you telling me now? I am telling you because the psychic drew my attention to something that you have to be on red alert. Yes, that evil woman is planning to open a bad page in your life that you already closed. And the psychic has recommended that you should attack her before she attacks you. I think I know where he is coming from. But how am I going to attack her? I do not want to join issues with a woman. Your Majesty, if only you knew the evil places where she already soiled her hands in an effort to dominate, you won't be referring to her as a woman because she's not a woman. Huh? She's a man, yes. She is evil. She is ruthless and she has wine and dine with the devil himself. Your Majesty, be very ruthless. Attack her without mercy as if you are attacking a man with every single weapon you have. I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm just hearing this. She invited you to a meeting and issued a threat and you're just telling me, my prince, I'm very sorry by not bringing this information to you. I didn't want to bother you with it. As far as I'm concerned, Christine is a bad loser. I swear about her. She sent a threat SMS to my wife to be and you still think we should keep silent about it? My prince, I don't want you to make Christine relevant by going to talk things over with her, okay? Just proceed with your wedding plans. Leave her to me. I will handle her. Just leave her to me. I'll take care of it. I'm interested in knowing how you're going to handle this. My prince, have you forgotten so soon that I'm a street boy? The fact that your father brought me close to royalty does not make me royalty. My prince, since she had decided to play rough, and since she has decided to tamper with the woman that means the war to you, my prince, leave her to me. I will handle her. Let's go there. Let me play off with her. Just don't worry yourself. Proceed with your wedding plans. You made me kill a man and made you news. Big contract with Katanga Oil and Gas. The man was killed the next day. Up to today, the balance of one million naira has not been paid. That's why I've brought you this two million naira. That I didn't pay for Douglas's assassination doesn't mean we have parted ways. We still have more businesses to execute. Really? Yes. So you want me to kill an innocent woman? Alasiata, she is not innocent. She stole my man. And even after I got her number, threatened her to stay away from my man, she is still continuing with the wedding plans. I want her dead. Then you have to do it yourself. My name is Anla Seata, the head of the climbers gang of the black neighborhood. I don't kill women. So what am I supposed to do? 
let her go ahead and wed my man? That's impossible. I know you with Victor. Why are you not talking about Oh, Victor, Victor is a fool. The mere mention of his name is ruining my evening already. I, I want Elizabeth out of my way. I need to get my man back. Come back tomorrow. I will consult the boys. I will not kill her. But there are many ways to end the case. What are you doing here? Shouldn't I be the one asking you that? What are you doing in black neighborhood at night? I, I came to see someone. You came to see Alasiata, the notorious armed robber. The grandmaster himself that the police couldn't catch or arrest. Now tell me, what do you have with such a character like Alasiata? First of all, I don't know any Alasia. Alasia, whatever. I don't know him and I have never heard of that name before. Oh, really? Who is he? You've never heard of the name Alasiata before? Yes. I believe you. Good night. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. Whatever you know. It's better than the angel you don't know. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Ooh. I ask you to come back tomorrow. I have already briefed some boys on the information provided on the saved Elizabeth. They will strike tomorrow and you will pay me through your nose. Can you just quit talking and listen? Someone accosted me as I got into my car. And now, so many interpretations are coming into my head. Woman, I don't have any business with your interpretation. I'm already working on the information you provided connecting to Elizabeth. It will be done tomorrow. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. Whatever you know is better than the angel you don't know. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. I already briefed some of the boys on the statistics you provided on the said Elizabeth. They will strike tomorrow and then you shall pay me through your nose. And I am telling you to shut up and listen to me. I was accosted when I wanted to enter into my car, and the interpretations of my head, I cannot explain. Whatever interpretation you have on your head, I don't care, and I don't want to know. You have already briefed me on what I am going to work on, and tomorrow you must hear something from me. Officer, you've heard it all. You have all the evidence you need. You can now go ahead and do the arrest. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome, yes, sir. What I wrote in my statement is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Honestly, I feel ashamed writing such a statement at my level. But it dawned on me that I had no other option. Because she made it appear that she was going to threaten my life continuously because of this. So I had to let go. 
in order to have my family back. Your Majesty, so far, our investigation is elaborate. She merely used you and your company. You see, she is the agent that criminally sits at the head of criminal deal. The money you're both waiting for goes to the agent, then she releases what she likes. Are you serious about what you're talking? But that was not what we agreed. Your Majesty, we are glad you reported this case. And the Commissioner is also interested in it. The lady in question is a smooth operator. For our investigation review, she had so many companies she lured into loads of shady deal. But don't worry, a lawyer from the public prosecution office will guide you on how to get out of this. You see, Viola is the prime suspect. She is the one we are going to arrest and not you, Your Majesty. It would have been a disaster if she had succeeded her plans. I was so frustrated because I thought I was going to jail. I partnered with a strange woman to destroy my family. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dad. We are also sorry. And Daddy, I want to thank you for opening up to the police commissioner. That woman would have succeeded. <sighs> Well, now, I believe that this incident would have broken your resistance. So now you will come into the business as a general manager. Oh, yes. I believe if you were with me in this business all this well, she wouldn't have succeeded. I'll be glad to do anything you want me to do, as long as it helps. I am personally marveled at the development. Hmm. How can a woman be this evil, desperate and mean? How? Well, it all happened for a purpose. To teach the real family a lesson. And I'm glad that we have learned. Right. <laughs> Alasiata, the self-acclaimed head of the Climax Gang, is already on our custody and has made damaging statements. Is that why you sent your boys to arrest me? I don't know the said Alasiata. And whatever damaging statements he made against me is none of my business. Listen, Christian. I'm not supposed to be doing this. And I've asked my boys to deal with him. Speak to me like a responsible woman. You have a bad case here. I don't know what you mean by bad case. Because I killed no one. Really? We have evidence to prove that you masterminded the assassination of Mr. Kelvin Douglas. Your phone conversation with Alasiata, the day you were accosted on your way out, was recorded. Are you ready to speak the truth now and seek for help? Please, what can you do for me? If the reasons you've enumerated are the motives behind my arrest, then I'm wondering why Leonardo de Bras of Brass Kingdom isn't here with me. His company is the anchor of the fraud. If you talk of the anchor, his company was criminally presented as one. Our investigation revealed something else. 
Something like what? There is an agent at the root of the fraud. This agent is the program beneficiary of the money that the fraudulent bill will eventually yield. You are that agent. And we know exactly what you plan. Hold on a second, officer. Are you trying to say that Leonardo the Brass has no question to answer? You are the criminal that will face the law for setting up such a fraud as something to use in blackmailing the royal family. Your game is backfired. We are taking you to court tomorrow. Change your statement, you can only write an additional statement, not to change the existing one. I'll advise you to get a lawyer. And let me be straight and clear, you are going to jail. You know, I look back at what has happened, everything, and I lack words to qualify it. Mm. The feeling is mutual. The most important thing is we are now man and wife. I love you so much. I love you too. You see, I once had reason to tell my sister that you looked so much like my mom. And as days grew into weeks and weeks into months, it dawned on me that was absolutely correct. Elizabeth, you are an amazing gift to me and I will love you forever. I made a promise on the altar and I'm making the same promise again. You are my life. You mean everything to me and I'll always cherish you. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. Whatever you know, it's better than the angel who don't move. Be careful who you put to trust. Be careful who you call your friend. Whatever you know, it's better than the angel who